As a kid, I loved experimenting, and I would just take different random stuff, pieces of wood, junk in my house, old staplers, and build these kind of weird sculptures. I love making stuff. I still have that same kind of feeling today in, in what I do. A lot of times we talk about the differences between art and, and science. What I'm really interested in is the similarities, the connections. My name is Zach Lieberman, and I'm an artist, experimenter, and hacker. And I work with technology and software in order to create art. Currently, we're working on a project called the iWriter, which is a low-cost eye-tracking device to help uh, an old-school LA graffiti artist attempt draw graffiti again. He has a disease called Lou Gehrig's disease. He's completely paralyzed. He can only move his eyes. We have a hardware system tracking eye movements. We have a drawing software on top of that that takes the data from the eyes and turns that into drawings. Then we take the drawings that he makes and we project them on buildings around LA. And we stream that back into the hospital so he can see his drawings out on the street. Temp said, you know, I haven't drawn anything in three years. It feels like taking a breath after being held underwater for five minutes. Whatever it is that makes you who you are, and just imagine losing it, losing that ability. And then to work on a project which is giving somebody that ability back is really, it's really heartwarming. I got really obsessed with this idea of, of using computers and technology and code in order to create art. We use computer science to write code, signal analysis, we're analyzing data from a camera, data from a microphone. I think a lot of times people make the argument there's no purpose for art. And, and this project is, a, is an argument for the opposite, which is that art can help people, that art can bring people together. I love what I do, especially because it's interactive. It's software, it's hardware, it's technology, but it, in the end, it's about giving people a voice. 